guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video tutorial on how to make some coins and at the same time have a chance of getting some really high rated pulls. I know I've already gotten a lot of comments saying to not leak any methods because they don't want it to be overused or to be saturated, so I did take some time in coming up with a new method for you guys that you can obviously use for yourselves, and I came up with something that's fun and easy to do. So the method we are talking about today is about completing collections. I know a lot of you guys might be like, lamb chops, that's nothing new, collections can't make you money, they are free packs, all the items suck in them. But let me tell you that it is a pretty sick method to make some coins. So in the background, I just put some uh, packs in the background just to showcase what I was getting from them. And although I wasn't getting like a huge amount of 86 plus players, or team of the week players, I ended up getting a lot of jerseys, logos, and consumables that were worth a lot of coins if you were to sell them in the marketplace. You guys know, I'm doing the Collection Completer series right now where I'm trying to compl complete every collection in HUT and I was finding that I was pulling a lot of duplicates of stuff that I was already had in my collection already. So, what I did was, I collected everything from my free packs that was worth something. I didn't collect the crappy trainings or anything, but everything that had some value, I kept. So obviously I already had those items, so most of the stuff I collected was stored right into my item inbox and that filled up pretty quickly. So what I did was, I took pictures of my item inbox went through my collection for the duplicates and sold off the items which were the exact same in my item inbox that were the free ones, right? So all I did was I sold it off for the players, I sold off the players and items in the collection and then I would just swap back in the cannot trade items from my item inbox back to the collection and I ended up making quite a nice bank from it. So I kind of want to just show you guys what my auction house is looking like so far. We already have 100 sold items for Hockey Ultimate Team. And you can see there, I just kind of listed everything up for 12 hours. Just because, like, I barely use all my uh, trade pile spaces. And these items get sold pretty quickly. So all, I, all I'm doing is just post it up for 12 hours. Put them up just for a little bit more than what they're worth around market price. And they do get sold eventually. So I'll show you guys how the ended auctions look like. And uh, let's go to sold items. And you can see how many of these items from my collection I just sold and how much I got for each one. And I made quite a few coins from just selling stuff from the collection packs. And you can see here, I was making quite a bit of money. Let's go to show more, see if there's any more. But I mean, this was just for one collection as well. Dion Phaneuf, I, I pulled him from a couple uh, packs before, so I had him in my item inbox. But Radam Verbata, I got a couple coins for 5,400 coins. Huberdo, I got 1,700 for them. And those were some of the players I sold from the... I guess the trade day so i sold a lot of players i made quite a few coins i made like 10k just from that collection i got a whole bunch of new players in my collection as well so it's definitely a very good way to make some money and the thing is like i barely even went through all the items in my item inbox so far i'll show you what i have in my item inbox too but there's so much stuff i still have to go through like all these jerseys that i have to check if i have duplicates in my collection for and which i probably will have but the reason I still haven't like sold off everything is because it does take a little bit of time, but it is definitely worth it to just sell off all the jerseys, sell off all the items that are duplicates from your collection, and they're just kind of replacing it with these things, because I mean like it's free pack stuff anyways, right? It's definitely worth the time to just kind of get your free pack stuff into your collection, rather than having your stuff that's actually worth something in your collection just kind of sit in there by itself. So, I'll keep showing you, showing you guys some more items here, but it keeps going down, Perot, Mata, and we got some uh, players from there from EA that we still have to give away. But we got Laner, probably just go through them. Ennis, Prout. Uh, we got Barry as well from a collection pack. You can see there we got a free pack version. So right there, like that's 22,000 coins that's in the bank just because I pulled a Tyson Barry from one of the collection packs. Roberto Luongo, that's from my uh, trade day. Lupo, and that's just about it. And there are different ways to actually make this an even better method if you want to do it. If you have some more time, what you can do is you can go on play solo. Build a team of just all the players in your collection that are worth something. And before they hit to one contract, sell them off. And then uh, just put in back your the stuff from your item inbox uh, to your collection. And then you will be able to make some more coins just from playing games and uh, getting your, I guess, record up a little bit. And just one thing I want to mention about the play solo, I'm kind of rushing here. But play solo is a good way to also change the difficulty. And if you lower the difficulty all the way down to like rookie, the players sometimes stop chasing you. And what you can do is you can just kind of uh, turn off your TV or turn off your controller and then just kind of wait until the whole game's over. And that will basically be a free thousand coins if you can score like five goals right in the beginning and kind of just let it be. 
uh, and then you'll make like a solid amount of coins just for playing games uh, with some of the players that you already have in your collection that you probably would never use the contracts for anyway so it's a solid way to make coins if you want to do that method as well you can obviously still play like single player seasons or online seasons to use up some of those contracts but anyways that is it for this method try doing some collections start being smart with your consumables and just sell them off when you have the ability to and uh, go through your collection because you have a lot of good stuff that's worth some stuff that you can just replace and it's practically just free coins in the bank for your ultimate team uh, for if you want to complete it for NHL 17 as well just getting that collection bonus up but anyways guys that's about it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye JR Nate, uh, Dallas Stars jersey, uh, 500 coins, I'll definitely take that. Uh, Dallas Stars, yeah, I don't have that jersey yet, so send those to a second once again. Alright, so two more packs left. This is the second last one, come on. Show us something. Uh,